You can't just go like this. It takes a lot more for us to get where we're going. Okay? You can't just go like this. And then the whole face is white. <laughs> What's poppin' everybody? It's your boy Armand and we are back with another video. So we gotta get into some things, all right? We got to get into some things. We got to talk about some stuff, okay? Um, so Serena Williams um, posted a picture online promoting her Stuart Wiseman shoes, okay? It was a promo for Stuart Wiseman. Um, the shoes look great, but I could not get past her face. Now, for those who haven't seen her face, it's something that was really, really odd, you know, something that I really wasn't expecting from Serena Williams. All right, so let me pull that up for you. Bam! What in the fuck happened to Serena Williams? What is this? How did they do this? Who the f did this and why? What in the little Kim Tina Turner? What is that movie called? Oh, Get Out is this. Now, I have a problem with this, Serena. I have a problem with this. I have a very big problem with this. She don't even look like herself. I'm going to blow it up for y'all who really can't get into it. Look at that. Look at that. Why do these women go white? Like, what is, like, she don't even look like herself from her nose to her lips to her face. Nothing looks right on Serena. You know what I mean? She's already kind of a bigger woman, a stronger featured woman. Um, so I understand she wants to paint softer, but it doesn't mean paint lighter. You know what I mean? I This makeup artist should definitely be fired. But you know what this tells me? I'm gonna be honest with you. A lot of people don't know this or they may not have noticed this, but I want you guys to put your thinking caps on. Remember in school where you go and grab and you put your thinking cap on and you really think about it. Like, hear me out here. I think I know what's going on here. And I here's my theory. Serena Williams is giving me um, black woman married to white man. Okay. So we all know that her boyfriend or her husband is white, right? Okay. So if you guys didn't know that, let me pull that up. All right. Boom. So this is her husband or boyfriend or whatever. I don't know. And y'all know she obviously, cause didn't she had a baby by him? Okay. So anyway, so boom, this is her husband or boyfriend. Now, typically I've noticed in my years, Black women who date white men, they tend to look like this. You know what I mean? I went to school with many of them. In college, it was a lot of them. Typically, here is the formula for them. Not all, but this is typically the formula. They smoke cigarettes, not Newports, not Cools. It's like maybe a Virginia Slim or a Camel, okay? Marbles, okay? They either drive a BMW or some type of Mercedes, usually trash and dirty. Um, they have makeup everywhere because they usually palette on themselves and then their wigs are usually always crooked because they don't give a damn and i think that's the part for me you know black women that date white men they don't really care about the makeup and the hair because i feel like they try to adapt that whole i'm kind of a white girl earthy vibe you know how the white girls can just kind of wake up and it's just kind of like what the hell just kind of like bedhead we just kind of get up and go notice at fine let me tell you something. I challenge you, any of you guys that are dating, that that know a black girl that's dating a white guy, look at them. Look at their makeup and look at their hair. They don't really give a damn. You know why? Because the white people, they don't care. They think, oh, you have makeup on. You look great. You know what I mean? You got a new piece of hair on. Oh, great. Her hair's done. You know how many times white people will tell me um, when I say I need a haircut, they'll be like, you don't, have a, you don't have any hair. Nigga, I do have hair and I need a haircut. I need to line up and I need to edge up. They don't know what that means. And so when a black woman can get with a white man, they feel like, okay, listen, I don't have to make sure the closure is right. I don't have to make sure I have bundles. I don't have to get the best hair. I can get some yakky khaki kanakalon. I don't have to get Queen Virgin Remy. I don't have to get the Peruvian shit. You know what I mean? I can just get whatever chain lane got around the corner, throw that motherfucker on, and we going hiking and bike riding anyway. He's worth a million dollars. You know, his Dodge coin went up. His Bitcoin is up. Who gives a shit? I'm driving a Mercedes or a BMW. It's a mess because I have makeup everywhere and it's just trash. You know what I mean? Where the hell is my pack of cigarettes? And my and my daddy's going to take care of it for me. I don't have to be concerned with the worries of, you know, black girl culture anymore. Of having my hair laid and having my foundation even. 
Hell, if anything, I'm going to put on a lighter shade so it can make me look a little bit more racially ambiguous. You know what I mean? Because Serena is completely here in, in white face. Serena looks like one of those Africans and the Jamaicans that be bleaching. What is going on with all the dark skinned people wanting to be lighter? This is too far. Face is completely a different color from her, na her, her, her legs, her ankles, her kneecap. I'm going to leave her alone about them feet. But um, she looks a mess. And she even she looks even more of a mess here. Look, look at the hair. Look at him and look at her. Just look at them. Yeah, she don't give a damn no more. She don't care. She don't give a damn. Why would you? She's rich. She's rich. Who gives a damn, right? What is a what is a what is a look? What is a hair and makeup? What is a glam squad? Who gives a shit? But I kid you not, every every black girl that I know that is dating white men, they look like that. They have that aesthetic. There is an aesthetic. That is an aesthetic. I'm trying to tell you. That is an aesthetic all day long. Now, you guys will go dig back and think about all your, your black girlfriends that date white men. Look at their hair. Look at their makeup. Look at the kind of car they drive. And look at how they kind of carry themselves. And then if they smoke cigarettes, look at the back of cigarettes they smoke. I'm telling you, it's going to be camels, marbles, or Virginia Slims. And then they're going to keep a lot of perfume and try to spray. And they drive Mercedes or BMW. Because the man's going to keep them in a nice car. And their head, they're just going to throw on any kind of wig. It's no closure. It's no human hair. It's just whatever they grab. You know, they kind of grab it in the dark. And just throw it on. And then they go. And guess what? The best part about it is the white man doesn't know the difference. Hell, the white man might still think it's her hair. You know, white people. Is that your hair? Absolutely. He doesn't know the difference. He just says, you know, baby, hey, babe, got a new hairdresser, hairstyle today. He doesn't know what the hell baby hair is and a frontal is and a leave out. So black women don't have to worry about that anymore. They just throw it on like a baseball cap. Just chuck that bitch on and go. Very much this. Just go. And it's all good. And we're gone. This is very much the aesthetic. Okay. And they're gonna and they're gonna get in their bins and they're gonna go, you know what I mean? And, 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 and you know, and if they're going out and about, maybe on a date, maybe they're going on a date, maybe they're gonna hang out, maybe they're gonna go hiking. She'll just throw that bitch in, a, you know what I mean? And then we're off to the races. It's it's that simple. I mean, that's very much so the aesthetic. Y'all think I'm playing? Go through your rolodex. I challenge you. Go through your rolodex. It's given very much that. And then some of them, you know, the, the thing, be the wig be so pulled back like this. Some of the black girls don't even bother putting the whole wig on. Some of them be so, they just throw that bitch on so so quickly. The whole frontal leave out is out. And hey, hi. And they go hang around all the white girls and all the white friends. And no one knows the difference. No one gives a shit. She's just a black girl with a white guy. It makes her feel like, you know how white girls just wake up and just, what the hey? And we're here and we're off. It is what black people cannot do this. You cannot go and just go like this. We can do this. It takes a lot for us. It takes a lot. You can't just go like this. It takes a lot more for us to get where we're going. Okay. You can't just go like this. And then the whole face is white. Serena, you got to do better. We're rooting for you. You were in a video with Beyonce. You can't do this. You cannot go out like this. I understand you may have been hurt by the culture or whatever the case may be. However, you cannot go out like this. You've got to do better, sis. We're rooting for you. Get a press, get a perm, and get your color. And fire that white woman that's doing your makeup. She might, and from the looks of it, she might be a mix of Chinese. Because you're not looking right at all. But either way, I digress. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. Um, do you think Serena looks fabulous? Or do you think that she looks absolutely atrocious? She's giving me ghosts. She's giving me go away. Go. Remember when NeNe Leakes uh, told Latoya on, on um, 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 what was that? Latoya Jackson on, um, oh my God. NeNe Leakes and Latoya Jackson on uh, the Celebrity Apprentice. Bye, ghost. Worked my ass well, off while you what? sat there and looked like Casper the ghost. Will you, will you can okay, your let's be clear. You bring your let's be clear, Casper. Are you done? You fooled you a lot done? of people with this, but you've not life. fooled Are me. You done? She's giving very Latoya Jackson. Bye, ghost. But anyway. This is not my business, child. I'm just here to give, uh, just give my opinion on it. But either way, if she's happy, I love it. Um, but listen, black women, a day white men, we have to do better. 
Don't let yourself go. And always remember, you are black first and dating white second. Okay? Thank you and have a great day. Peace out.